So I was asked to do a little tutorial on the Shot Tracer app because people are interested in how I get this. So you open up the Shot Tracer app and click on Shot Tracer. Then click on Import Video. You go to your camera roll. And then you search for the video that you want to put the Shot Tracer on. Once you're happy with the video, you'll see it comes up on the screen. And the next thing you have to do is set the impact point. So using either the arrows or the little drag bar there, you find the impact point and then click next. What it will do is take you onto the next screen. I like using the low light here because I find it gets more accurate results. And then you click the analyze button. It will go through that a few times and then it will show you the preview of what the shot looks like. Now I like to use the extend option here to extend uh, the flight line back to the T. Um, so it's right where the ball um, takes off. The next bit that I like to do is just to make sure that the, um, the carry position is in the right place. And all you need to do is tap on the screen and you'll see a little icon and then you can adjust it to the right position. The next part is looking at the effects. I like using the shadow effects, which puts a line along the ground. I think it's a really nice feature and it works very well. The next thing I like to do is put the name tag on there. So this is your name and um, you've got the option of putting the score um, the length of the hole and which hole number it is. And then you can choose whether it is a par three, par four or par five. In this case, it's a par four. Then you click on the position um, tab. And this is really helpful if you're doing long form videos that you edit into shorts, because you can adjust where the, um, where the name thing comes up on the screen. And I like to put it on the frame where I might edit it for a short as well. So just above me. Um, you then click the done and then done again. And then you go back to this screen. There's also a lot of other options in here. I also like using the custom logo from time to time. So we'll select that. We go into our uh, uh, camera roll again, find our logo and then drag it into position. Uh, I mean, this is really, really simple to use. And once you're happy, you click done. You then click back. And you then, if you're happy with the, the result that you've got so far, you click save. It will then save the video to your camera roll. And once that's done, it will give you a preview of the shot that you've just made. And that's pretty much it. It's, this is a really simple tutorial, the basics of it. There's a lot more that it does. If you'd like to see more, just leave a comment below.